Hello, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. We have intermediate full body workout today. I'm calling this class Lightly Flow because we are going to flow from one exercise to another more energetically. But that doesn't mean we're going to lose the intention of the work. All right, let's go. Let's start. We're going to start sitting on a mat. So find the front of your mat. Sit with the feet parallel and the knees pointing up to the sky. Bring your hands underneath your thigh here and really try to perch on your sitting bone and allow the spinal column to elongate up to the sky vertically. And just take a moment in breath. Exhale, allow your body to arrive in the room on a mat in breath tuning into your internal self exhale warming up the center one more in breath Exhale. And let's take our arms forward here, so in front of the shoulder. So my feet are active. I like to think that my feet can sip through the floor, through the mat, anchoring my body down and in breath. Exhale, I want you to round the spine with me into that C curve, actively pulling back in the lower abdominal and then roll the spine down, anchor the feet, get the sacrum down, lower spine down, still have that beautiful abdominal contraction, then come back up again as we breathe out not losing the abdominal contraction and we inhale to the left. We exhale, we pull back with abdominal and we reach forward with the arms and then through the hip joint, we get the sacrum down to the floor in breath. Exhale, we come up over into that C curve again. And then we roll up again in breath and exhale we round and we roll down 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 inhale stay exhale we bring our body over so your shoulder goes over the pelvis here and then we lift the spine up tall last one exhale C curve then rolling back rolling back rolling back and let's just stay here for me I want you to straighten the legs a little. Have the legs nice and tight together here. And then take your arms overhead and release the head and the shoulders down. Ready for our roll-ups here. So I want you to zip up the leg. And we take the arms up to the sky. And then we fold through the lower ribcage, bring ourselves into that C curve, not C curve, the chest lift. And then pull in the lower abs, bring yourself up. And that's into the C curve shape over the pelvis. Inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale, we roll down again. Arms by the side, arms overhead. So let's get this roll up nice and beautiful. So arms to the sky. And then we fall up from the lower rib cage. Then we pause this a second. We're going to get that abdominal in. And then we come up from the hip joint, activate the hip flexors muscles and bring that C curve shape spine over the pelvis. Arms are active, legs are active. And then I'm going to take my C curve spine down, moving from my hip joint. I'm still by the side here and then head down, arms overhead. The arms come up, so breaking it down for you here and flex forward and in with the abs and up through the hip flexors into that C curve, in breath. Exhale, go down from the hip joint, get the sacrum down. 
and arms overhead. Let's go one more. Arms up and forward, chest lift. And activate your hip flexor to come up into that C curve. Right, I don't want you to bury your head down. I want to see a beautiful head. And roll down, roll down, roll down. Chest lift here, arm, head up, not head up, head down, arms up overhead and circle the arms up to a T position. Bend the knees and half your feet as wide as your mat for the hip roll. So drop the legs to me and you can turn the head over to the other side and back to center. And then the other way and back to center. So we're going to move through the exercises rather faster today. But I want you to really try to keep that great deep integrity of the exercises. All right, let's go one more each side for the hip roll. And back to center, walk your feet back to the middle. And we float one leg up to the tabletop, hold the contraction abdominal, then the second leg comes up, thighs together, arms out to the side, spine twist supine with leg extension. So we all, we rotate to me, hold. Extend the top leg long. We we'll keep that leg long. Bring the leg back to the center. And we bend over to you, please. The knees should be next to each other. And we extend the top knee. And we bring the legs back to the center. And we fold. Over to me as we inhale. Extending the top knee. Bringing the legs back to the middle. And we bend over to you, extending the top knee and squeezing the inner thighs together and fold. Last set, over to me, extending back, center, we fold. Last one, twist, extending back, center, we fold. Bring your arms down by the side. Flex, dorsiflex the feet, separate the thigh, leg changes with the dorsiflex feet. Lower the right leg down as we exhale. And an exhale, we switch. And we switch. Switch. Moving, moving, moving cautiously from the hip joint. And exhale, your abdominal is holding the pelvis in place. And the lower spine. Exhale, two more sets, last set, bringing both legs up, pointing the feet, lower one foot down, second leg down, and then interlacing the hands behind your head for the chest lift here, elbows are off the floor, then I want you to take the right leg up to a tabletop position and hold it there, breathe out. Chest lift up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, we come down. And exhale, we fall forward. Inhale, we float up a little higher. And exhale, we come down. And we'll lift. Ideally, your pelvis should stay in a neutral position. In breath. And exhale. Again, exhale, we'll lift. Now hold an in breath. Exhale, switch the leg and return the head. And we'll lift. In breath. Exhale. And we'll lift. In breath. Exhale. And we'll lift. In breath, exhale, last one, and we lift, in breath, and exhale, lower the leg down, we hold, extend the arms forward, lift the chest a little higher there, right, chest lift with rotation, hands back behind your hip, rotate to me, and the other way, and again, and rotate, and 
One more each side. Come back to center. Right leg come up. Rotate to the right side. And leg changes, rotate to the left. And then rotate to the right. And one more each side. Last one. Come back to center. Grab the back of your thigh. Squeeze the leg up a little higher. Up a little higher. Up a little higher. Extending the legs up to the sky. Arms long by the side. And let's go for the hundreds. In breath. Exhale. Low a little bit. Lower the legs a little bit. And lower a little bit. Lower a little bit. Last set here. Stay. Drag the knees, drag the knees, drag the knees. Lower one foot. Second leg down and just lower the head down. Arms long by the side. Excellent. Extend the left leg down. Extend the right leg up to the sky. Dorsiflex, pulling it for our leg circle. Across the body and stay parallel with the leg and down and around. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last set. Stabilize the pelvis. We stay. Other way. In breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You want to come back to the center and hold for a second. Then you drop and catch it again. And last set. Hold. Point. Bend. Lower. Bring the other foot in. Extend the first leg. Then take the second leg up. Tabletop, straight up to the sky, dorsiflex, and across the body, and down. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, stay, other way, in, and, in, in breath. Exhale, one round. Inhale, one round. Exhale, one round. Last set. We stay, we point, we bend the knee. Hold the leg in tabletop. Bring the other foot in. Join the leg up to the tabletop. We have double leg stretch, single leg stretch, crisscross. Let's go. Lifting up the head and the chest, grabbing the knees. Bring the thigh slightly closer to your chest so we go past your 90 degree angle there. And inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. On three. And, and out. Arms, then the leg comes in. Two more. Arms, circle, then the legs comes in. Last one. And hands on the right knee, left leg extended. We lift the chest a little higher. Hold that new height. Make sure the feet are at the same height here. We go straight forward and straight in. And up. And change. One more set. Back to the starting knee. Right knee in front of you. And then hands behind the head. Rotate to the right. And crisscross over. Rotate from the waist. And. As much as thinking about rotating, I want you to think about coming up. So flex the body forward. Forward, move from the waistline, out, two, two,
two, one, one. Back to center, squeeze the legs, grab the knees, lift the chest higher, and then walk your hand closer towards your ankle. Drop the feet down, curl the pelvis up, reverse rolling like a ball. We curl up, then we bring ourselves up. We to a rolling like a ball position. All right, let's, you know what, let's take the toes down, open the knees, open the chest, just a moment to stretch our abdominal and come back. All right, bring the hands back again, just over the ankles and then toes are off, balance. We've got rolling like a ball here and we roll back. Exhale, really guard the legs with your arm muscles and exhale and exhale and exhale as i roll forward as i roll back i want to think well i'm thinking about i'm leaving my belly my abdominal muscle behind me so i'm staying in that curve behind me and one more I leave my abdominal behind me and balance Good, and lower the feet down. Straighten the legs in front of you for our spine stretch. Your feet are shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider if you need to. And upright, arms long. Straight legs as much as you can. Dorsiflex the feet. So, in breath. Exhale, roll down and forward through the spine. Inhale. Come a little bit more forward. Exhale, rolling back up and tall. Exhale, roll down through the spine and come forward as you inhale to intensify the stretch. Exhale, we stack the spine up. We grow taller, taller and tallest. Two more times. Exhale, we roll down and forward. Inhale, come a little bit more. Exhale, roll it back up. Tall, tallest, tallest. And last one, roll down forward. In breath. And exhale, roll back up. Up there. Now, bring the legs in a diamond position. So we'll do it again. I'm going to add a back extension here. We roll down through the spine. Now here, as you exhale, now we inhale. Lengthen the spine and do a flat back in a diagonal position here. Then exhale, we round the spine down. We roll back up, forward. Exhale, we roll down and forward. Inhale. Flat back in a diagonal position. Exhale, forward and down and back up. Two more. And roll down and forward. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down, forward and roll back. Last one, roll down, inhale, lift, 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 and roll down, and back, and upright. All right, let's grab those ankles. One, two, can you guess what's coming up next? Open leg rocker, let's go, spread those legs out. All right, straight legs. If you do need to do it with a bend in the diamond leg position today, go ahead and do it. But if you want to be adventurous and have the legs straight today, come and join me. All right, extend the spine so your back muscles are active here. And then abdominal to round the back, then we roll. Legs forward, we lift as in. And in, roll. And then forward, exhale, lift and roll and forward lift and three more and forward lift two and lift. last and forward
forward. Lift, legs are together here. Take your arms forward and we'll lower the legs down. Dorsiflex the feet. Slice the arms out to the side. Just readjust the pelvis for our spine twist here. So spine is tall. Rotate towards me, double breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Make sure your nose is in a vertical alignment with your sternum. Exhale. So which means I don't want your head to go ahead by itself. So I want you to move your whole sponge together as one unit. And. And. Last set. Last one. Come back, open the feet again. Palms forward. Readjust your tush for the saw. Over to me as we inhale, rotate. Move the arms and hinge forward. Anchor the sit bone down. Activate your back muscle here. And we come up, back arm, come to the side. Open the arms and rotate back to center. And over to you as you inhale. Move the arms, anchor the sit bone down. Hinge forward. As you come up, the back arm moves to the side. Open the arms to T position and come back to center. And rotate to me. Move the arms and hinge forward. And oh, and up, arms to the side, open, center. We rotate. We move the arms and forward. And we lift and center. Last set, out. And arms and forward. And back arm to the side, open the arms, come back to center. Last one, twist. Arm and forward, back arm to the side, open the arms, come back to center, bring the legs together, cross the legs, hands forward, ta-da, onto a quadruped position here. All right, align your wrist and the shoulder, knees and center of the hip and do not hyperextend your elbows like my habit. <laughs> now here, let's go into your front support. So we're going to draw in the lower abs. So we bring our lower spine towards a flat back here. Okay, and then extend one leg out behind you, engage the glutes and your hamstrings, and then extend the other leg out as well without losing the form. Bring the right knee in as you exhale. Inhale, extend. Left one. And right. And up. Left. And up. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. One more each side. Left. And I want you to hold that front support position. Take the arm closer to me up to the sky. And then we're going to rotate our whole body to face me. For our little side plank or side bridge. We stay here for five, four, three, two. One, we bring our arm back down, rotate. Do not lift the pelvis up. So you want to have a nice straight line and rotate to away from me. And take the arm out and hold that form. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back to that front support. Then we take one knee down, second leg down, back to our quadruped position. And it's time for our kneeling gluteal series. So, all right, abs in. Let's have the leg away from me. All right, up, left, and down. And we go lift 
and down. So I have my left leg up here, and down. That's a three, four here, and five. Take care of your pelvis. Make sure the pelvis doesn't drop and rotate. Want you to try to keep the pelvis as stable as possible as you lift the thigh up. Two more. Aiming to do ten here each. And now open to the side. Out and close. Two and close. Three. Four. Move from the hip joint and not from the knee. And, and I lost count. I think we've got two more. Two. <laughs> Last. All right, extend the same leg behind you. All right, so straight leg lift, lift straight leg hip extension. We call this exercise two and three and four. Four and five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, and bring it in. We go to the other side. I'm just going to turn my body for the camera's sake. All right, let's go. Feet, foot up, lift, and Two, stabilize the pelvis. Three, hold that center tight. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, last ten. Open to the side, please. Up ten. And two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the leg behind you and we lift. And two. And three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and ten. We bring it down, we bring it in. Just sit back for a moment. Stretch back. Okay. And release. Let's go down to the floor. Onto your belly. Finger leg kick, please. So we have our hands interlaced like a tripod. Your elbows are about shoulder width apart. Can be slightly wider. Or right underneath the shoulder. Engaging the upper back and the middle back. We call that the thoracic here. Pick up the abdominal, make sure you don't burr your belly down. <laughs> Hold the belly in and up, and lift the legs off the floor. And we go, right leg, left, we inhale, in, inhale, exhale, and. Two more. Last set. Extending both legs straight, squeeze them together, lower the chest and turn your head towards me for the double leg kick, interlace your hands. And place your hand as high as possible in your back and then just drop the elbows down to the floor. And we've got three kicks. Let's go. Kick one, two, three. Extend the legs, lift the back. Head over to the other side. Another kick. One, two, three. Extending the legs. Lift the back. And again, kick. One, two, three. Extending the leg and kick. 
left. Again. One, two, three, and left. Again. One, two, three, and left. Again. One, two, three, and left. Last set. One, two, three, and left. Last one. One, two, three, and left, left, and left more, and lower. Arms by the side. Bend the elbows and pull up when the belly, push down when the arm, sit back. To your rest position here. Take a moment, let your breath, in breath, exhale, then in breath, exhale, tuck the toes under, points, and lift the knees up, get yourself to an upright, upstretch, upstretch position, I was going to say upright, no, upstretch position, alright, so press the hands down, but lift away with the arms. Send the pelvis up like a diamond, not a diamond, like a triangle. Oh gosh. All right. Now from here, lower the heels down. A quick, nice stretch for the back of the legs. I like it to press the armpit out and down towards the floor here. Keep the neck nice and long. Let's do some prancing. Lift the right heel up. Switch left and right and left. And right, and left, and two more sets, and change, and the last set, and chain. Both heels are up, and now come down, knee down, sit back, swing the leg forward for our teaser prep again. <laughs> Let's go. All right, now this time, legs are together. Arms are forward. Now here, I want you to just lean back. Lean back to like a V position. Come forward a little bit more. Then, at a certain point, you're just going to be able to lift both legs up easily. All right? And that's your teaser prep position. Then we breathe out. We roll back down with a good abdominal control. We're not going to rest them. We're just going to... Find a spot where you feel like, okay, that's challenging. And we're going to come back up again. Inhale. And get your back muscle. Exhale. Let's do five of this. We roll away. Your shin are nice and quiet. Inhale. We lift. Back up again. Exhale. It's all abdominal to go down. And then abdominal, then your hip flexors kicks on and your back muscle kicks on. And again, exhale down. And then back up again. And last one, down. And back up again, up again. Let's hold. Lift the arms, straighten the leg. Let's hold this position. It's a teaser position for five. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, knees out, back up. And it's rock left and right. We are done. We're going to finish with a spinal roll down. We inhale. Oh, exhale. Sending yourself gratitude for spending a lovely time with me on a mat today. Thank you. In breath. Exhale. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. And grow taller, taller, and taller. So one more time. We breathe out and we roll down. In breath. And exhale. And up, up, up. And let it all go. Excellent, excellent work. I'm alive. How do you feel? 
That was great. You did an amazing job keeping up with the pace for throughout the whole class. Excellent. All right. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Keep yourself hydrated. Keep yourself mobile today. All right. And take care. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.